Harry Botts of the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Thursday, June the 29th, and as we do every Thursday, we're going to do an extensive review of some of the swings in the last few weeks that are still in play. Some of them reached their targets and are still going. Some of them have been stopped. Um, but we're going to talk about the ones that are still in play. AMAM, for example, broke out. We put a swing on it. Been slowly edging higher and then pulling back and edging higher and then consolidating. Still look at this point, even though I haven't amended it yet, I'm not looking for 21 and a half, three quarters, 22 as my next target. Let's just say we're looking for 19 and 19 and a half and then 21 and a half, uh, 22. Um, APLD, very nice looking uh, pattern and certainly extending. Breakout, put a swing on it, ran up, flag, pull back. Um, after reaching a new high and my swing target, um, it tagged 11.62 and pulled all the way back to 7. So uh, 6.80 actually, this may have been stopped, but I'll look at it again. Uh, the bottom line is at this point though, I'm still liking the overall structure. And if it holds it right here and holds that 50 day moving area and runs up and then it runs up and then takes out that, uh, you know, nine and a half and then 11 and a quarter range, we might see something in the mid teens. That's why I believe you're going to see eventually. APP with a breakaway gap and a stall. We put a swing on it and then ran up to first target, pull back again to the first target, make a nominal new high yesterday, 25,662. My target now is 28, three quarters, 29. APYX breaks out, runs up. And today, although it did reach my targets, Today was not a good day for it as it pulled back a dollar nine or fourteen percent. Maybe breaking. We'll see. One day there's not a downturn to make, but I'm concerned when I see that. On the other side of the coin is this large, long um, channel top that also was tagged. So maybe it needs to come down and do some consolidating. ATEC broke out of a multi month consolidation. We put a swing on it and moved up for a few days and backed off today. Still looking for this stock to make a move into the low 20s. Up next is AUR, breaks out of the base, forms a wedge. We put a swing on it. It popped for three days in a row now. And looking like three and a quarter, three and three quarters, maybe four and a half would be targets. CBNA, Carvana has been good to us a couple of times here and now again here. Popped out of a wedge and has been running just recently from under 10. Uh, that's not correct. From 10.68 to a mere 29.90 today. So nearly tripling in just about three, four weeks. I think it's not done yet. My target's in the low 40s. DKNG breaks out of a base, pulls back, pops again. We put a swing on. It's moved up to the target. Consolidating. Next target, 31. EMBX broke out. We put a swing on it. The stock looks like it's headed, headed to uh, 19 and then 21 or more. And it, an immediate target is 26. FNGR was an explosive move that we got in at 209 on this first pullback. It then ran from 209 to 4. 35, more than doubling, but the last three-day pullback has been quite steep, and it's right back at support, and it's back at the 21-day moving average. Today's low is an absolute stop. I don't want another 250. Um, it did close up at 295, so let's see if it can rectify the pattern and continue higher. The measured move on this one is huge. You might be seeing six or seven eventually. HEAR, beautiful base, breakout, <clears throat> and then popped, pulled back and coiled. It looks like it's ready to run again. My targets are 13 and 15. Immunogen popped and coiled, and we put a little uh, our flag, we put a swing on it. Um, re, I believe in the 12 and three quarter range, um, a, few, a week ago, it reached over 20, and now it's pulling back. But it looks like a one, two, three, four. Maybe we're, needs more time, but the, eventually a mid 20s target is potential. Well, when Joe B popped out of the inverse head and shoulder here, we put a swing on it. It's really worked well, more than doubling from the five range to today's high, just on a 12. Maybe a little short, uh, I mean, long in the tooth at this point and needing in need of some consolidation, but great chart overall. Next target would have to be about 14, 14 and a half. Copen, beautiful base, break out of wedge. Look like it was going today. I thought if we were going to rip on it, put it back right off. It's just not enough volume yet. When you do get volume, this will pop, go to two and a half, three, uh, three and a quarter, maybe as high as four. That's my take. LI, you know, one of the Chinese automotive EV manufacturers broke out. We put a swing on it. It flagged for a month, ran up, pulled back, ran up again and pulled back. It's it's in a nice rising mojo with a target of 4041. LSPD broke out. We put a swing and immediately backed up and held secondary support. And it wasn't stopped out. I believe that was your stop. Anyway, you can see how close it got. And now it's backing right back up again. My target, 18 and a half, three quarters, and 20, 21. LW. 
um, LG broke out, put a swing and ran up and then backed off. It's got a nice one, two, three way flag, but I don't want to blow support at 660.65. What I need to see is a move over eight, eight and a quarter, and then it will run to nine and a half or 11, maybe 12. MR, MRLV, MRVL, sorry, inverse head and shoulder, beautiful long term decline base breakout, a massive breakaway gap. Now, the last month it's been coiling. Still has some broken support, but I needed to not get below 90, um, I'm sorry, 50, pull back about 56 and a half or so. Targeting 66, 7, and then maybe mid 70s. And the RV popped, pulled back, broke out, ran up nicely to the target, coiled for six weeks to our flag, and then boom, yesterday, big, big run on it. Today was kind of a very quiet, narrow inside day. I'm looking for 15 three quarters. Nanox was one of our big winners this year. We just popped and pulled back. We put a swing on it. I believe it was nine and three quarters. It went from nine and three quarters to 22.35 in about three weeks. And now the falling wedge, secondary support in that zone. It did pop today, but it didn't follow through. We're not out of woods on this one yet. And I would stop it under 13 and a half three quarters. Targeting 21 and 27. NVIDIA, pop broke out, we put a swing on it, eventually moved from the 375.80 area. It got up to 437, so it's a 55, 60 point run, and now it's in a 1, 2, 3, 4. Next target could be as much as 500. And the targets are 450 and 500. Overstock, well, um, after a long decline, it popped, we put a swing on it, it backed off right to test support, and then it went vertical. 22 and change to 31 and change, uh, almost a nine point run and very quickly. Uh, it's taking out targets, next target is 35. Plug, broke out, put a swing and moved move right back down, but held the moving average and now it's trying to come back up again, but it's kind of a sloppy pattern. Not happy with it, but willing to sit with it with a stop under 890. PPS side has been wonderful as it ran up sharply, coiled, broke out, we put a swing, flagged, popped, flagged again. I think 10 and 12 are doable. MTI, brand new, after a beautiful base breakout and coil. I thought this was about to go, and it did get up to uh, 498, but it needs to get over five with energy. It targets a seven and a half. Shopify, beautiful long term base. When it broke out of here, we put a swing on it and backed off. It may have been stopped, I'm not clear, but the overall pattern is still intact. You can see the rising channel tells me this could be 7580. Snap. Surged, flagged, a moving average has crossed over, it broke out. There's a double top at 12 and uh, 40, 50, where I believe it might be headed. An immediate term, 14 and a half, 15. SSYS is in, in play and probably a takeover. I'm looking for a move to 21 on a takeout. We'll see if that occurs. Tabula, popped, coiling. Looked like it was going to break out a couple days ago, but it backed off. This one needs over 338.40 with energy. Then I'm looking for four and a half, five and three quarters. XPEV, the other electric vehicle manufacturer from China I like. Beautiful base, very nice. Can support a very big move. The um, price right now is the highest level we've seen since early January. So at this point, if we can get it up above 12 and a quarter, 13, three quarters and 15 may be had. And that covers it, folks. Look at some of the swings of the last six, seven weeks. This is HP signing off. Have a good one.